What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So another video, another backyard video. In this video, we're making a fire site. So we start, we start fix up the fire site here. Uh, mom said you have a fire site in the car and here, in the backyard, right? So I got my tools there already set up. So this is our uh, little um, horror garden here with all the ingredients and stuff. So she wanted the fire side right in this corner here like where this um, table is. So I bought some uh, plywood. I'm going to show you here how I'm going to build it. <coughs> so this is the plywood here. I'm going to rip this ply and frame it out. And then I'm going to use a steel rod inside to reinforce it and put some cement inside. So that's the video. For about three years now, mom been telling me to make a fire site, so I'm finally gonna make it. So first, I'm gonna start with ripping up the plywood and stuff and getting all the measurements, and then start building the frame. All right, so this is the measurement. Here. You can see this is the mouth, the two hole. We get some measurement here. So we're gonna start rip the ply. So I'm gonna explain as I go along gonna build the inside structure first then the outside structure and show you how to build the mouth and stuff like that so I'm gonna rip the ply now to build the inside nine and a half height so I'm gonna make the measurement here nine and a half rip this way. Okay, so that's the first piece there. I'm gonna rip some more now. Cut my length here now. So I made it 28 inches. I'm gonna chop this here. That's the outside box. So now I'm gonna build a bigger box. It's gonna be about two and a half inch 
right all the way around for the outside so i'm gonna have to rip the ply I'm gonna go rip that This is a little bit higher. This is gonna be the thickness of the top and the sides, right? So that's the next step there what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna cut this to go all the way around and staple it up and put it in place. All right, so the sun hat, so I'll put on my hat, right? So I'm gonna staple up this here now. This is for the outside, right? All right, so I complete the outside box here, right? And this is the inside box and I put some support on the inside so that it won't, the farm wouldn't break, right? <coughs> and this is gonna go on top like this. So this is basically a rectangle box, right? And then this one is gonna go over this one. So I'm gonna secure this here and then show you the next process. That's a look from the bottom there. Right. That's the inside part finish. This goes like this. To find the outside. Right. So then I'm gonna show you the next step. Also what I'm doing. This is gonna be support for the inside box. I put this here so that the inside doesn't cave in or this, the farm doesn't break apart. Right, so I'm going to show you how it's going to go on. Secure tightly there. So this is the um, farm for the um, inside, and we're gonna do the farm for the outside next. So I secure the inside box from the inside, and the outside box I secure it from the outside, putting these woods on the sides to, to make it strong, so that when you put the cement. It's not gonna come apart so now I'm gonna work on this where the firewood is gonna go where the mouth part is right so I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna be doing there in a second all right so I make this this is for the mouth to put in the firewood 
right so let me measure here let me show you so i have 10 inches and then i have nine and a half inches right so the depth here this is a 10 inch so i build this so this would be the mouth put it in the center in the front here and this would be the front of the fire side right so now i'm gonna cast everything here and i'm gonna put two paint can here for the um for where the fire is gonna come out when you put the pot and uh so this is gonna come like this and another one here and that, that's pretty much you know the gist of it there also i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna be doing the uh, steel rod so in case it cracks it's gonna hold so i'm gonna put a lot of steel rod all over the place so that's the next step but i just finished the front motor so i have four box cement here and i'm using Three eighths steel right here. Three eighths. Right. So I'm gonna cut them to length now. Show you. So this steel rod is gonna go like this. Right. So I'm gonna cut a few of them and make the um, the rebar system for it. And then I'll show you the next step. This is one of the side structure here for the back steel rod. You see how I do it there? And I cut all the other steel rod and you're taking this wire and binding it together. Right? So that goes in like this and it's gonna be suspended in the middle. And all the way around gonna have on the top right so what I'm doing here now is twitching everything together so that we can have this steel rod structure the structure and then show you what it looks like when I finish. Finish making the steel structure for the fire site. So this is a um, you know not exactly measurement you just have to go with the measurement that's inside there. So we're gonna put it in now. So that's pretty much the fire side there <clears throat> now next up is the cement mix some cement cast it up done <coughs> all right so we have mixed uh, high stone concrete here <clears throat> get four bags and we don't mix one bag already so you just mix, pour it in the sides, level it out, and then I have a steel right here. secure the paint can now and then fill up it one more time all right so we set up 
and pay in can for the, um, the hole and we put two pavers on top of it press the dump Three inch rebars. All right, so that's the setup there. So that's how I do it. Don't know if it's gonna work. First time making a fire side. I'm making the um, pot hole and also suspend the pot in the air. I call them the bobbies, right? <laughs> Three bobbies on each. So. I cut the, the water bottle, um, cut out the, the part with the cork, fill it with cement, and I put in this um, 3 inch uh, steel rod in here to hold it in place, and I just turn it down on it. Right? So, like this. And when it dry, you remove them, and then you have the 3 pot holders there. So you see there, so now I have to wait till it dry to remove everything. It's been three days now since the fireside has been uh, curing. I just got um, the So you got grind down a little bit. Three of them there, three of them there. Okay. So let's see if I know what I do or what. So far everything looks okay. So that, that's gonna be the mouth. And then that's basically I have to take out the inside part. Show you when it's done how you can look. So we start we start fix up the fire side here. Put it on some blocks, get a metal sheet. Oh, you saw it. Oh, I get 
sewa atas Time for the chicken Is it all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good set, I eat a good thing I get this cardboard here. Yeah. Chicken curry almost done. Looking good there. So the chicken curry done here. Time to dash some chicken curry. Alright, so the fire said, oh good, this is the second time we cook on it. First time we cook some cook up rice, this time we cook chicken curry, so we build a nice platform there. We still have to build another platform, this was just a, a test run, but this video is mostly about how we make the fire side step by step, so in case you want to make it, that's how you make it, right? So we made it a few days ago. And we leave it a cure for about maybe a whole week. Then we take out all the wood from it, right? So uh, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.